romance and pairing is a very normal part of the human experience. And so it's very natural for people to root for the characters of a movie or a show, especially when they're a romantic interest, because it's something that almost everybody can relate to. It's a part of our biology. The need to socialize, the need to form bonds, and the overwhelming end game for everybody on either side to get some sucky sucky. And if so inclined, get one hell of a bonus. It makes sense for people to get so wrapped up into these characters that they oftentimes forget to separate the actors who are playing these characters from the characters themselves. What about the crazy rumors that are out there? I mean, crazy rumors, for example, about you being a hermaphrodite. How do you Bruh. feel about that when you read that? I'm not even going to answer that question. That's stupid! Use your common sense. I understand it's normal for them to project their own desires and interpretations on these characters, and that's fine. But when it gets awkward is when they do it in real life and ask the weirdest questions to the actual actors. Unless the actors are living in such a manner where their sexuality is on full display, I'm of the camp that it probably shouldn't be anybody's business what they do in the bedroom, if you know what I'm saying. Like, is it just me? If someone didn't supply that information, it might be rude to ask, especially in such an imperfect personal setting. And this is precisely what happened in a Tom Hardy interview. While looking at this clip, you can agree it's highly hilarious watching the interaction. Bro, imagine how awkward it is for the freaking actor. And we're an LGBT news organization. And our question is for Tom Hardy. In the film, your character Ronnie is very open about his sexuality, but given interviews you've done in the past, um, your own sexuality seems a bit more ambiguous. Do you find it hard for celebrities to talk to their sex to talk to media about their sexuality? <laughs> Like, <laughs> why did this guy give him that look? <laughs> it's like, bro, you gonna take that? <laughs> the funniest part about this is not even Tom's reaction. It's this guy's look of absolute whatever this is supposed to be. Even look at the guy who just looked at him with that look. Like, you could tell that he could feel. He could indirectly feel the embarrassment. <laughs> he was like, bro, you gonna make him talk to you like that, man? <laughs> What are you gonna do? He's the director! Oh no! Sexuality seems a bit more ambiguous. Do you find it hard for celebrities to talk to their sex- to talk to media? What does he mean by that? Why does it matter if his sexuality is ambiguous? Whose business is that? What a bizarre thing to ask someone you've met for the first time. Again, that sexuality is a part of the human experience, as I said before, but it seems that more than ever, especially in modern media, people are obsessed with it. Anyone? What's up guys? I'm so tired man. Anyone wants to spend a happy weekend with me? Anyone? <laughs> it's no longer just the idea of love, but the sexuality or orientation of the person or the character is supposed to be the most important thing about them. Now trust me, I get it. If the movie takes place in an era where being in love with someone of a different ethnicity or the same gender or something is a pivotal point of the plot of the story, then I can understand. Even still, what does it have to do with the actors? It's not even a matter of him just asking the question. Is him asking the question when he knows it in the past, this specific actor was ambiguous about it or didn't want to talk about it. And coming from a gay person, you would think this would be understandable. Um, your own sexuality seems a bit more ambiguous. Do you find it hard for celebrities to talk to their sex- to talk to media about their sexuality? What on earth are you on about? <laughs> I was referring to an interview given to Attitude magazine a few years ago. But what is your question? I was wondering if you find it difficult for celebrities to talk about their sexuality. I don't find it difficult for celebrities to talk about their sexuality. Um, are you asking me about my sexuality? Um, sure. <laughs> Why? Why? Um, Thank you. you. Okay. <laughs> You're stupid! You look stupid! Oh my god, if I were the reporter, I would have run out of that building so fast and died from the shame and embarrassment. Poor guy. He's probably not even the one that laid up that question, but he was the one that was sent to the field to go ask. You could see Tom knowing exactly where this was going. The director too, like the look on the director's face kills me, bro, because it feels like the director was aware of this and he was like, hmm. Damn, that was rough. He asked you that? Damn, that was... Wow. <laughs> the director. Look how Tom is 
like fitzing. <laughs> he's only got one eye closing. He's like skitzing out right here. <laughs> I mean, there's something to be said for appreciating the craft. If someone is able to play a character that they don't normally relate to on an everyday basis and they're able to sell their performance to the point where you feel as though it is real and believable, that is a good thing. Why going into an interview like that, knowing this person isn't public about their own orientation, would you then ask that? Like asking, you like it from the front or from the back, bro? In front of everyone, that's just so low class. Let me tell you, this is essentially as rude as asking a gay person that you've never met in front of everybody, are you a top or a bottom? Like. It's so rude, so inappropriate, so low class, and I think Tom Hardy actually handled it well. And the moment he was looking at me, you could read his body language, and the moment he was like... Um, are you asking me about my sexuality? Um, sure. <laughs> Why? Why? The reporter knew it was coming. He knew it was coming, and he did not have an answer. Why? I mean... Maybe people, the reporter knew they were friends and his friends wanted to know for sure because they were crushing hard on Tom. Or maybe the reporter himself wanted to know because he was like a really big fan of him or something or just was curious. But if you know, especially as a gay person, how much scrutiny you come under just from being gay when people ask you all sorts of odd questions, even though it's okay for them to be curious, you know in a public setting how rude it is in front of everyone for people to come up and ask you shit like, when did you know you were gay? Or I got gay friends. Oh, you're gay? I bet you're great at shopping. Wanna go shopping with me? I have a friend that's gay. You wanna meet up? Like certain things you would expect to be innocent questions, so they come off as very rude. And I think it's important that people stop caring what orientation the actors identify with. This obsession over orientation and who you prefer to sleep with has been like center stage these last few years. And it's almost like a religion because it completely takes over people's lives. That's the only thing that they find value in. And gay people have fought so hard to not be stigmatized and seen only through the lens of their sexuality. When that's a very private part of their lives and only a very small facet of who they are. Now here's why it shouldn't matter what the sexuality of an actor is. artistic integrity and it's understanding that when an actor is playing a role it's all about how they're able to be convincing in that role and less about how the actor's personal life aligns with the character. I mean if every time you need to portray a gay character you required a gay person to play them aside from having a different personality type there really wouldn't be much credence in your ability as an actor. I would more so find it incredibly impressive for someone who is straight to play a gay character character or someone who is gay to play a straight character, like Sheldon Cooper from Big Bang Theory. And what I would never think to do is go up to Sheldon Cooper's actor in real life in an interview in front of everyone and ask him, I don't know, dude, are you sure you're gay? Cause that kissing scene with Amy seemed legit. Like what? What? I am completely of the camp that an actor's skill set should be the primary focus, not their private light. Unless, of course, they're one of those people who have their private light out on display and they're like, look at me, look at me, look at me, and it's clear that they're okay with sharing that. But this reporter was aware that he was ambiguous about it or just did not want to focus on it whatsoever. And so the reporter willingly made him uncomfortable. Also, it's irrelevant. <laughs> an actor's sexuality has no bearing on the public unless it directly impacts their professional work. So all this attempt for the media and people to focus on an actor's personal orientation actually detracts from the meaningful conversations about their performance or the themes of the movie and the impact it had on the audience. Not to mention freaking privacy. People seem to be of the mindset that if someone's an actor that they're no longer human and even outside of a work setting or not in front of a camera, they don't deserve any privacy whatsoever. People rudely think, well, I'm just gonna put my drone in someone's backyard. I know where this actor lives and you're a celebrity. So you should have known that you don't have any right to privacy. Well, they're still human beings. And you may be asking, why is that an old theory? What's the big 
deal. Well, here's one thing. Imagine you just don't feel like answering a very private part of their lives, but that aside, many actors or celebrities might choose not to be open about this because they do risk being typecasted into roles that only align with their sexual orientation, thus limiting the kinds of characters they can portray. And this can have a stifling effect on their career, and it also perpetuates the whole stereotypes of storytelling. And believe it or not, especially in romance or action movies where the majority of people would more so identify with someone who's like them, if they find out that the character who is openly gay is playing a straight guy that's womanizing women, I know that was redundant. While it shouldn't matter, some actors have that legitimate concern. It's why some actors like Chris Pratt stay out of the political sphere specifically because he doesn't want his fans to be divisive. Or at the very least, he doesn't want to be the catalyst for that, knowing how people are. I agree this shouldn't matter, but people are people. And a lot of actors, well, they do take that risk. It's why some women who market how hot they are will keep their relationship private, or why men and adult sites will not share their orientation openly or claim it encompasses everyone so they can cater to their audience and keep the fantasy going that the people watching them have a chance with them. In other instances is to keep the target off their actual loved ones. Damn. Where are you from, man? Good. Back here. The other thing this ends up doing is putting the actors under such a burden to become a spokespersons for an entire community whether they want that or not. You have been chosen. It creates stress and tracks from the main reason why they're in the public eye in the first place because of their art, not what they do in the bedroom, their canvases for interpretation or interpreting a work. They're not the freaking AI buddies that you talk to at night because you're lonely. And then there's this expectation from people to expect that the actors align their real life sexuality with their roles and that limits created freedom and then reduces actors or their characters to mere tokens. And then you have that awful situation that you have today where studios now think that for some Thing to be important and groundbreaking that it must all boil down to who the character is screwing behind closed doors. That's why I think it really shouldn't matter what the sexuality of an actor is. You want to ship characters? You want to talk about the work? Have at it. But definitely don't ask such a personal question in front of lots of people towards someone you don't know who clearly isn't okay with talking about their sexuality. Thanks so much for watching. This has been Altiori. You ask, we answer. Um, are you asking me about my sexuality? Um, sure. <laughs> Why? Why? Um, Thank okay. you. Okay. Mission complete!